part two. So I have to say goodbye, goodbye to my wonderful and amazing wife, who's the best thing that ever happened to me, and whose loyalty to whom is total. The one anyway. that divorced you that we never you met? Are, let's just do this. So the first video that I saw Here was I by am. this guy. Uh, and I even put it, I put it, where, where I got this name? His name, his name is Andreas Zirk, Zirktis. And you'll see a link to his channel in the description box. Today. No wonder my eyes are nice He seems to be the most it popular, one of the mom. most popular proponents uh -oh. of the Tartaria Empire theory. And in fact, he even though my tartar blooded mother, what? As a yeah, Shannon doesn't like life. talking about blood cells, No, yeah, I want to be a symbol. The first video that I watched was a new two-hour documentary that he did mm. that was absolutely crazy. Um, I, you know, his ideas, his interpretation of world events, they are in their own way as idiosyncratic as Douglas Dietrich, meaning that his particular interpretation and take on what given hey, historical Tartaria goes all the way back to the Scottish roots. Yeah. So you guys can play around in Russia and Germany all day long. Nobody wants to talk about Scotland, but Marvel is. Huh. What about the Lord of Lions? Oh yeah, they were restored. Yeah. 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 He seems to be motivated. I mean, it's totally true. Right. Ask yourself. And I don't know if he makes a good argument. Who benefits? Why he draws the conclusion that he does. does. He merely states the right conclusion. Sure. And we get to, I, I cover the video, I made some references. Oh, Magler says most are poorly equipped you know, to deal with nuance, such as he is. Oh, my God. Come I don't on. Know. Let me do that. Get outside. There were other videos that I watched, and of course, genetically, I'm going to go down through it. Um, there does seem, when I, when I watched the two-hour documentary video about Andreas Zerkis, as well as seeing other videos, there seems to be an element of the Tartar Empire story that involves a reinterpretation or re a new understanding of Neanderthals. Whereas a modern biological theory and uh, anthropology, anthropological theories and theories of evolution. The theory teach can us vary, but the monuments the remain. Were a prominent species, very, very similar to Homo sapiens, who quite possibly interbred at several instances. I'm in not a flatter for modelists. Or a they try to connect it somehow, like I said, to religion. And like believing in God, or I don't know. It's coded, like I said, they're covert. Co conspirators. Tartar, Tartarians across the globe. Were actually right. just ancient men or an element of this, or evidence of this uh, pre flood culture. It seems to go a little bit something like this. Uh, the end, uh, as a person ages, oh, yeah, their well, bones thanks. become thicker. Neanderthals had thicker bones, and therefore their proof of them living to very advanced old ages, the essentially the argument goes something like this. A human being, if they were to live to be a thousand years old, would look like a Neanderthal. You Somebody like a thousand years old would look species like a Neanderthal. Species are not a separate hominid species, but are rather human beings, Homo sapiens sapiens, who live to the, the advanced old ages as we see some people. That's not what this is about. That will live to be 900 years old. He's upset the that um, A blood types don't have the rhesus monkey gene. And this is all the thing about hiding blood type. Oh, Modwiz. And that's why Modwiz talked you crap on his mom. You say that you're not, so you, you speak in your nuance. Modwiz is the big Gnostic voice that wants to take over John Lamb Lash's position, which is insane. And there was more than one group of Gnostics. Sky balancer. Somebody needs to talk about the Essenes. 
of his in prayer of how much actual time actually transpired between B.C. and A.D. Right. Let's start there. That what may be seeding the ground for this notion of belief is the, not to say that it's drawn from the Matrix trilogy, but in the Matrix trilogy. See, he has to bring it into a movie. And then he can talk, right. Mock it, talk it down, manipulate it. Hide behind it. We can't discern. Right. Who's speaking truth to the best of their ability and who mocks it. Intention is key. In all things. Oh, Gerald, why do you have to bring up Lebowski? Oh, they love her. Oh, that's right. You're it's about Haydn and Steiner. And Crowley and I, I mean, it's, it's about mm -hmm. to me. And I, I, I don't like this being right. into, into being insulting to people. But I don't know they buried his voice, too. That's why nobody in America because knows about him. Bible realism and Michael Cremo, Forbidden Earth Theology. So it has been like that. If you uh, go, go to this. this massive tome by Michael Cremo called Forbidden Archaeology, there's all this stuff that they're looking at. There's other people this is, that like consider. This is stuff that the ancient history, the ancient gal. alien theory, the, the existence of, of, of pre-flood culture like Lumeria, Vantus, or Moon. This has all been looked at, and much of the evidence is recapitulated by these Tartarian Empire people just with, with adding this other element to it. And, and I, I just want to say, why didn't Michael Cremo discover that it was that it was the the Tartars? How did all these Bible realists... Why does he mock them and call them Tartars? The existence of the That's the point the to focus the on. The Bible, They're the Tartary. Establishing the histor historicity of the Bible and therefore establishing that the Bible is quote-unquote real. Modwiz believes he interjected intelligence this, into the conversation the concerning which is, the Tartars. The Tartars. There'll be some evidence of people looking at maps. The further back you, you go in time, the more there are questions and weird crypto, uh, in cryptography, crypto, cryptographic mistakes. Uh, 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 These guys make constant cultures, mistakes on purpose. Even on just a propagandist, uh, that is uh, propaganda. Of where they would be in the future, or what they were claiming to the people they actually control. Ethno Aryan culture themes, Buddhism, the Aryans. This is stuff. Right, Chuck says the truth is something about pissing Channer off. A nineteen-year-old kid, Let's and see. you just come into these, to these theories and these ideas of taking the quote-unquote red pill. You might not know has a pre-existing history mm. and is really just being hijacked and repurposed by this Tartarian Empire theory. Pyramids, Tesla, etc., the New World Order did it. They erased history. There was a global They did erase history. 1812. Oh, I drove to the bank. When it comes to the pyramids, the this is a this is a, a famous yeah. within the uh, Lumerian, Atlantis, or Moon theory. You know I if can we handle it. Egypt, we see pyramids. If we go to ancient Peru and the New World, uh, the, the cultures of the Olmecs and the Aztecs, we see pyramids. We see pyramids in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia. We see pyramids of these ancient people. How, why are they all doing pyramids and why are they all doing pyramids in, in relation to the stars? And yeah. number one, from a architectural point of view, the triangle is the most stable yeah. So the notion that it would be uh, not a common solution for multiple people around the world, independent of each other, to when making their first big buildings, would arrive on the notion or have discovered that you build the first layer is the biggest layer. Then the second layer is a little bit smaller than that. Right, and so up and up and up. And the small QVC. rests upon the larger. This is this is this is a common solution that would be discovered, could be discovered by people independently. That's my theory, that there's no reason to be blown away by the fact that, that the various people have different have all have pyramids. Because pyramid it makes more sense 
that it, that it culture's first big buildings would be in pyramid form than it would be big skyscrapers or squares or 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 globes. A globe would be an almost is an almost impossible architectural uh, thing to make work. It's really tough to, to really design a geodesic dome. It's, you know what I mean? Though it's got its own internal stability, it's not until the work of Buckminster Fuller that people really start start talk, thinking about working in spheres as far as architectural design. The first architectural design, it's like teepees. The triangle is a common, is the most stable. The triangle is the most stable um, geometric form for sharing the burden of strength and weight bearing, and therefore it is the most common architectural thing that we see around the world. This exists or what can exist without the existence of a pre-existing culture that connects all these people, like Lunaria, Atlas, Moon, or the space people. That's my alternative explanation that doesn't require Atlantis. Likewise, I think a lot of the things that people are talking about in the, uh, the Tartaria theory, they point to a lot of stuff that they say is proof that certain buildings existed or the remnants of the pre-flood or mud flood uh, epoch changing events. To which I want to say, these guys make a lot of bones about Seattle. I heard more than one of these video makers talk about Seattle and the fact that if you go to Seattle, many of these buildings, the ground floor is actually the third floor of the building. Yes, but if you look at the history of Seattle, you would know that they have several great fires and several earthquakes. Those have, have undergone with the existence of the Tartarian Empire or a, a flood, a mud flood that covered the sky. We know what happened there. We know about the San Francisco fires. We know about the various earthquakes that occurred around the world. We know about people building and we also know about the sands of time. That given the time, things sink. They don't rise to the surface, they sink below. And therefore, layers built upon layers. Uh, new buildings were built upon the remnants, the, the, the established footings of old buildings, which means that you oftentimes will see older stuff underneath newer stuff. So I'll leave some of this to you to do your own, to do your own investigation. But similarity to the no trees on the flat earth, again, the Russian origin, the, the, the very skewed views. You've got a video channel with 6,000 subscribers. Oh, and these views go with hundreds and hundreds He's hundreds gone. Hundreds he went with Aaron. Views. Is that possible? Absolutely. But then either it's a black market against the person. I don't know how a person gets 60,000 views and only picks up 6,000 subscribers. But that just This is about you guys. Some of that may be deep. Barry and me. Yeah, so if your dad cares about you, or, or Aaron cares about you, when you're out riding around, go do something. It takes 20 minutes to take that driver's test. And it only takes a few minutes to drive by the, the hall to drop your paperwork off that we filled out three weeks ago. I told him I was going to take him next week. Patrick Childress, the work of, of various other people like Lloyd Pye regarding the proven existence of Scott, Sasquatch or Bigfoot or ancient giants. Oh, just seven, eight, nine people. And you got to make it so extreme all the time. Right. And that's how they make it into conspiracies. You fucking instead fucking of just tall people. And jump on there was you always tall people. Just tall people. There was always tall people. Guinness Book of World Records. Right. Or, or, architect architectural trope. The large is more impressive than the small. The large door of the country. Oh, the of big the empire, story, the, the bullshit wine. North Gate. Is that because it needed to be big enough for a giant to go through? Or is it because the size of that door impresses upon people the magnitude of the characters that walk in and out of it? The doors of the Forbidden City dwarf the individuals because the doors of the Forbidden City are not designed for mere mortals like you or me. They are designed not for giants, but for the Emperor of China. Who? I told him to eat a cliff bar today. Possibly. I can't believe he could still eat. I couldn't believe he could still keep fucking shoveling it in. Oh God. People eat because they're stressed a lot of times. You know that. There's demons amongst men. Why wouldn't there be God? Right. 
have been guys like Lloyd Pye and David Hatch. God Hatch. and man. None of them have been um, and you mock it. Or, uh, of any and that reeks of the church because the church is who separated God no from man. Major head of an archaeological department in the United States of America or in Europe that I'm aware of that advocates for the existence or belief in the existence of giants. They're tall Take people. Suppressed information or bullshit. Theory and conjecture. This is more pain than pain. 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 I made it possible for Tracy to come to work today. He was in and out. And left at like two. Mm hmm. Right, he can't help himself. Strange observation. How many of the researchers cite world travel? This is this is this is an independent thing. This is when I say strange observation, this means the following. I saw the I looked at the work today of at least five different YouTube content creators in order to get Oh, and one was Kelly, right? Giants, um, the Smithsonian Institute cover up of giants. That's a theory posited by David Hatcher Childress and Lloyd Pye. It's a theory that I don't find persuasive. It discounts the theory and the idea that amongst these reports, I'm just listening. Reports, I remember the giant from Illinois, from America, from or the Guinness Book of World Records. That these he, he has no giants idea. that have been discovered were in like fact hoaxes. No. Talk That's people. The right. The the Just like you're short and everybody hates short people. Some of these um, finds is because when the finds got to the Smithsonian, they you discovered that what they had was not a giant. The dog ate them. It was a giant sculpture. Make of that what you will. Obviously, you can write it off. Alternative theories and explanations. Obviously, for some of those alternative theories and explanations, they heist. Sway. What can I tell you? Do you want me to bullshit you? Or do you want me to tell you what I think is true? Tag Earth thing. The same thing, a different day. Right. The the Tartarian Empire theory is not a popular theory amongst flat earthers, or that for the vast or a given percent, large percentage of the Tartarian Empire proponents, flat Earth is a consistent thing that is cited. It cannot be, cannot be denied. I've put down the Seven Serpents video in the description box below. Why did I cite it? I will note that many of the people that he cites as being worthy of looking at in the theory of the world of forbidden archaeology or suppressed archaeology or suppressed history were channels that I did not look at when I was preparing or studying or researching this video. It may be that we're looking at some of his other sources I would reevaluate or change some of my positions or find my positions illuminated by some other conjectures, theories, or pieces of data, though I don't know. But can you come and well chant about it? Circumstances of the opinion and opines in his recommendation video that Max Egan gets a lot of credit for being the main popularizer of Tag it. We use Max's work theory. tonight. We're live, and Ding Dong doesn't know it yet. Trains and the history wipeout. Um, and, then, uh, and, and given that, that, that Max Egan is considered, uh, you know, kind of the, the font for a lot of this much flood information, I just want to say that in regards to Max Oh, no. Look, we were coming over here to check out the Scottish Tartarians, and I lost Ding Dong. We gotta go back and get him. Hmm. He's live. We then became, began to wake up as to what was going on in the world and began to do a whole lot of research. Much of the stuff that Max Egan talks about on his Crow House video, his Crow House YouTube channel, is stuff that is relevant to anyone who wants to know things about some of the dirtier ramifications or interactions of world governments 
of various issues of suppressed uh, medicine or suppressed studies regarding vaccinations, et cetera, et cetera. There's also a lot of cuckoo crazy stuff that Max even talks about. About two years ago, Max even came out and said that he had discovered the existence of the first true, real Luciferian uh, AI. And what he cited and what he pointed to was a website that featured a chat bot. A yeah. chat bot that I think its name was Lucifer or the devil. And you know, different chat bots have different kind of pro offers. Now you better be talking to Cliff High. Characteristics. Hi, my name is Megan. You know what I mean? Let me chat with you. And I'm Megan and I'll chat with you about this stuff. Or I'm Beep Boop. You want to talk to Beep Boop? Beep Boop. I think that that's a funny thing to say. Beep Boop. What do you think the secret of life is? Beep Boop don't know. Beep Boop just a chat bot. Do you want to talk to me? Uh, Beep Boop, I do want to talk to you, but I'd really like to talk to about, about you from the meaning of life. He says, I can type the meaning of life, but Boop, they, you know, in some books, the number of life, the meaning of life is given as the number of 42. Beep Boop doesn't know if that's right or wrong. Beep Boop's just a chatbot. It's seven seven. You want to go to Skype? Cliff, Beep, I Beep, made the chatbot, chat no doubt. Too. This notion of this Luciferian chatbot was a particularly sophisticated chatbot. Yeah, and Mr. High only works with negative world, predictions. Really so if the shoe fits it. Oh, wow. Crazy. It's named yeah. Lucifer or something, or the devil, or Satan or something. It was ridiculous. I talked to Jerry Cthulhu about it. Max Egan is kind of a cuckoo guy. Max Egan, a first Max Egan attention. could first whoop your ass. Max Egan's attention when, um, this is an aside. Oh, look, it's one of your video games. Central. Man, I don't even do video games, Chana. But that's how people make like videos that. and hide memes. We're not gonna watch that one. That's why it's not it. really kosher. I'm doing research over here. Where'd you go? Yeah. Some time ago, I did a video about an individual who used to be have some note and fame oh, within the conspiracy theory and spiritualist community, an individual by the name of Zen Gardner. It was revealed that Zen Gardner had Zen Gardner, tag it, to Conscious Consumer Network, and Randy Morgan's dropping the dossier. Led by a guy named um, Bird. Berg, you better tag the Bergs. Um, he's involved and Boyd. In this cult was particularly problematic because he was a higher up. You better he's call your buddy Morgan's. Of, of public relations. The problem is that the family of God were famous for very, very, very loose and exploratory sexual mores, and specifically very loose sexual mores in relation to the treatment of children. Many of the survivors of Family of God cult came out and said they were systematically molested, they were systematically raped from a young age, because all of these people in Family of God believe that sex is this beautiful thing that should be explored between mothers and And remember, Randy Moggins handed the dossier to your buddy, Mel V, and she chose to ignore it and dispute it. And then she called everybody at CCN, pedos, and said Randy said it, and Randy did not say it. And you knew about that back then, because you and Z and Mel were plotting behind the scenes. You always forget. You're involved in a big story, fool. I completely stated this report. I think it was given on Facebook or YouTube about Ted Gardner and how kind of capricious what capricious it was. Of, of Max Egan, who by his own oh, and then we gotta tag it to the whole Terry Joyce information, and why is Randy Morgan's information connected to Hillary's email server? I mean, you guys have gone just completely. And I see. You always go off on him. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna drop it here, and we're gonna talk about it again. The whole idea that from the go, I was given one misleading piece of information before they sent me to do this job. So tag that. One lie told to me. I've seen 
much more passionate about. Guy, but he's just he right seemed to be unhelpful. The guy that has to be professionally evaluated calls somebody else crazy. Right. There's no reason to believe that Max Egan is really a historian or a historical researcher of note. There's no reason to believe anything about Max Egan other than the fact that Max Egan is popular amongst conspiracy theorists who are also willing to be on Facebook. I think he's a good guy. Tag Facebook. He's been dealing with this shit for a long time. Oh, and all my accounts have been cloned, by the way. We talked about the people brought up the, the, the suppression of the giants by the Smithsonian Institute. This counts a very plausible explanation, like that I've already said about the existence of the Like science. you're all covering oh, up what you did. And a lot of the existence of the discovery over here that there's the Oh, it's obvious, Tubby. Hebrew language in the new world uh, before Columbus. A lot of this stuff is hoaxes. Christians Oh, church emitting free energy is still working. Muslims lie hey, look. all the time. Look at all this one. In the name of religion. Jews lie in the name of religion. Now, how can you debunk this? Why? Because to some people, the means justify the ends. Christians, you'll always hear about stories about that exist to this day about people who know that on his deathbed, Anton Lavey gave his gave his spirit to he gave his soul to Jesus Christ. So did Constantine. Dag, how do I do that? This was seven months ago. Anton Lavey, founder of the Church of Satan, on his deathbed, died, called out the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, really? You do it. You do it. One minute you curse his name, and one minute you use his name. Area itself. And going to various churches and church organizations to tell the truth about the Church of Satan. They're liars. They're just total liars many of the people that were used as sources for by uh, jack chick of chick chat track fame a lot of these people claim knowledge of ancient druid cultures and enclaves the various actions and interactions of the illuminati many of the people who claim to be rich survivors of ritual satanic abuse are lying case in point teal swan Teal Swan tells many stories about the, 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 her, her He used to masturbate to Teal Swan. Weird satanic Mormon sex Creepy, cult. huh? That has been proven to be impossible. That, her, that she, at a certain age of, of, of being a teenager, was sewn up in the corpse of another human being. Physically impossible. Ugh. The story is absolutely physically impossible. She's a shill. You know that. She was paid Just to do this. People do it in the name of the Lord doesn't mean that they couldn't be lying too. And I point that out because I specifically want to talk about the work of Michael Cremo. Because Michael Cremo is a guy who's famous for, he has this massive tome called Forbidden Archaeology that for many people was as much of a touchstone book in the days before internet conspiracy theory as William Cooper's Behold a Pale Horse or Lincoln Lawrence's None Dare Call a Conspiracy. Remember, this is due to trauma about being lied to historically. Everybody else's this isn't a war between the Channer and me. Was, we are being lied to. This is way bigger. The revolution is being falsely bolstered by a crass manipulation and conspiratorial manipulation of what's reported as true. He admits what he does. To support a particular narrative about life on planet Earth. As do all Satanists and, that and uh, truth, people that have to disclose. Their real years, intent. And we weren't on this planet in the first millions of years, but multi millions of years. And there were ancient advanced civilizations that had things like cars and automobiles and, and planes and such. What I need to point out there is that Michael Cremo is a member of the International Society of Krishna Consciousness, having been um, taken as a devotee by Srila Swami Prabhupada himself. Swami, sweep a pot. <sighs> the doorway is Christ. legal name today is not Michael Cremo, though Michael Cremo was the name he was born with. When Michael Cremo became a devotee of Krishna consciousness, 
It was given a Hindu Aryan name, Constant which you legally changed to say it was as prescribed by the rules and regulations of the International Society of Christian Conscience. It was two weeks old. Why does Michael Cremo at the time of this show change his name from Michael Cremo? Go around named Michael Glasgow Cremo. Glasgow Mud Flood. Dressed in a suit hey, tie. I like this rather one. than Glasgow. Glasscock, get it? You know the glass cocks, you uh, know, Glasgow. Yeah, they know him. Pain in my ass. And I'm the bad guy. Ugh. I wonder why he turned his big mouth down. Then you're going to say that, oh, this is a guy who's a historian, he's an archaeologist, he's a this, he's a that. The lion's share of the stories that are purported by Michael Cremo well, in the article of the Forbidden Archaeology have been debunked by the archaeological Emporium. itself. Tag Emporium, Brian. Right. Things that he identifies hey, as a do you still have this video up, CW? Or did you tape over it? That were submitted for peer review by archaeological magazines and, and publishing companies. It can be easily proven, huh? Notes, but were, when peer reviewed, discovered to be wanting or lacking. The primary problem in much of what Michael Primo relies upon has to do with the misuse yes. yeah. and misunderstanding of the use and proper methodology for carbon dating. You can look up Online. Look at how crafty people were. Skilled laborers and artists. Regarding the the, the uh, pre-Columbian, the, the Native American peoples of, of the New World being the descendants of the Hebrews, being ancient Hebrews, or descendants of ancient Hebrews. Uh, they go down to South America and they do various things, and there are people that have proven the existence of, we found Noah's Ark. You ever hear one of these? And all of these people, all of these people, on the ballots, are discovered to be proponents of various religious orders and theories and beliefs. who are engaged in ar archaeology not objectively, but in order to prove their assumed right answers. This, are, this is about this is modernism, modernism, cycling, being destroyed and being so repeated and revived. Flawed research. What's the bottom line? Keep the it simple. That way we can get back to it and fix things. Oh, they knew how to draw it, but they didn't know how to build it. Right. Based on the fact that this story really seems to have been broken out of Russia in 2014, gaining popularity on YouTube. It's called civilization. The last couple of years, that the it's a human spirit. spirit. Not affected by this, the original proponents of the theory probably had a horse in the race, a desire for whatever reason. Because of conviction and belief in their native people and the value of their native people, or to prove to the world that they were just as good as the Romans, just as good as the Americans, just as good as the French, or what have you, it's this deep storyline that really doesn't make any sense on balance. Uh, the Andreas Zurkatz videos you'll see in his channel below. Those would be called Masons. Or the Tartary. Yeah, it's called a loophole. 
You know all about those, Mr. Lawyer. I mean, air counselor. The notion is that, I guess, what is the theory is that the Magna Carta was signed under duress. Yes. By the, um... Y'all been state. putting me under okay. duress. And if it was signed Ever under since duress, Conscious Consumer it Network, be tag it. Enforceable document. I just want to say that that would be true if we were talking about a contract to open up an ice cream shop. We're talking about coded law. messages and destroying a person. Under the modern system of common law, a contract in order to be Right, here he goes. ...needs to have been signed volitionally under somebody's free will. That doesn't apply to treaties of surrender, right? or treaties like the Magna Carta. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. And the fact that this young man said that he can make this brilliant idea and plan work is just goes to show you that he's got moxie, he's got spirit, he's got brains, he's not, he's not an inarticulate individual. Everything you don't. Got any real understanding of how, of how contracts work or what really gives rise or how, how a treaty is distinguished. You're a wannabe. You're contract. fake it till you make it. It just means that he's uninformed. You're an abuser of the system. White slaves, again, he seems to be of the notion that yeah, been, this is a very popular theory amongst fucking white ethnic He doesn't believe it. America. He doesn't believe in indentured we servants. We are indentured servants. He doesn't believe we it. He's not? We're, no. And we pay taxes. We're, we're white people. Yeah, all people. And then you go all against your own and want to start a war. Everybody. Everybody that lives in the United States. Black, yellow, red, and white. It's true. It's true. We're all family. And other such losers who go on a loser. Red Ice Radio. Pain in my ass, loser. Sitting in his dad's office chair. If we had any freedom, I'd be allowed to run my small business. Yep. And I can prove it all. And instead, people steal my identity? Nice. Sounds like a big trap to me, y'all felon. Plus, you're mentally ill. Not because I say so, because the shrinks all said it. Ever since she was little. And you said the whole story. And you try to erase it? You're always watching the same kind of people. The people that were already debunked. And you act like you're the first one to debunk them. He searched Channelot. As the theory put forward by the no trees upon the flat earth theory oh. that said that all mountains quick not the flat earth. Like right. Mountains, what a racket. Steps, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, were actually the petrified remains of giant trees. Alright, there we go. And that is that.